so uh, on that note, Johnny, <laughs> Guys. it's time to get back on board another episode of the Hype Train. Absolutely. So a couple of months ago, we were out in Florida in St. Petersburg, and on the way back to the airport, basically, we thought we'd just swing by Angry Chair, who happened to be on the way. It'd be rude not to on the way, wouldn't it? Absolutely, really? yeah. Um, so Angry Chair are mostly famous for their big bold pastry stouts yeah um as we learned while we were out there they also make lots of lovely other styles so we went to the tap room and had a swifty uh while they filled up this monster um you had a saison didn't you i believe so um it was it was very very hot so i just couldn't quite face a big <laughs> yeah. dangerous stout and yeah. we, we were just about to do a very long flight back to the uk yeah so i'm, I'm still a bit baffled by the whole uh massive imperial stout thing out in florida to be honest but yeah the closest we came to an idea was that it was like iced coffee yeah like it was cold and it was dark and roasty yeah. but it was you know massively alcoholic and, actually, and also i think what we we said was basically everywhere's air conditioned anyway so yeah when you're so where you're actually drinking you're probably freezing yes so you might want to warm up uh with a 11.5 percent peanut banana bread imperial stout i mean yeah uh, yeah, I mean, Angry Chair, one of the most famous Imperial Stout producers. Uh, and the idea of the hype train is to check whether these breweries deserve the hype uh, or whether it's all kind of talk. So we've had our fair share of pastry stouts. We've done a video in which we tried nothing but pastry stouts yeah. while on a camping holiday together. Yeah, I was in like a, a wriggly little, uh, what's it called? Sleeping bag <laughs> for most of the episode, I believe. I had no idea where from that memory. was going. Yeah, no, I, I didn't either for, either for a, a second. Yeah, I don't know whether you should tap crawlers or not. I mean, if it's gonna go, it's, it's gonna got, go. It's gotta be good luck. I'm gonna give it a tap now. Yeah, thanks, man. Um, I had a crawler go off in my. Oh, there we go. There I had one go off in my bag once, Johnny. That wasn't. That was a bit upsetting. Oh, that was Drifter, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, it was Drifter. Like, yeah, it was that, it was that one. Like, yeah. He has filled. Not only has he filled a 32 two ounce can, he's filled it right to the top. To so the this brim. could be fun. Wow. Good pouring, Johnny. You're it's not my, not my first before. rodeo, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, we're down at Caps and Taps today, aren't we? Well? Yes. So, yeah, this is my local bottle shop. Uh, they don't sadly have uh, growlers of Angry Chair to sell, but they do have lots of amazing beer and lots of amazing Belgian stuff, which you'll be able to see behind us twinkling away. These lovely twinkling fairy lights, which I keep catching them in, in the reflection. Not reflection, <laughs> the screen. In the screen, yeah, the screen and we're looking at. They're kind at. of uh, reminding me a little bit of, uh, you know, a pub fruit machine. When oh, you yeah. just see it in the corner of your eye and it's kind of going Yeah. And it's getting on a massive tangent again from beer. So uh, We haven't even had a sip of better it. Better to get onto the beer. We've had a smell of it though, I can smell it from miles away. Wow. I mean that is very peanutty for me. Yeah, yeah, peanutty. Is it peanuts in it? Yeah, peanut butter and banana. Yeah. yeah. And Pe banana. Yeah, really peanutty and really banana y bread. Yeah. To me that smells more of banana than peanut, but it's got that um I think what it is for me, I'm, thing. I'm not a massive fan of peanuts, so is anything I can sort of whiff it in, I'm like, oh yeah, I can... You claimed you were allergic yeah. in a video. Yeah, I'm not before, I don't think I'm allergic. Uh, I'm not allergic. Yeah. So, I mean, that is just like, that is like shop-bought, pretty shit, banoffee pie. That's yeah. the aroma on that beer, with some nut yes, thrown in. a bit of nut. It's very enjoyable and nostalgic and silly. Um, I'm quite excited to try this. I love the mouthfeel of it for a start. Well, yeah, I mean, that is viscous, but not too viscous. It's not syrupy. It's got a nice fine carbonation to it as well, which cuts it through, but it is, yeah, really viscous. Mm. Um, How are you finding that sweetness, Johnny? You haven't got as much of a sweet tooth I don't like, as I. No, but there's loads of roast on that in the yeah. finish, so it's not cloying. It is, in the middle part, just after the swallow, insanely <laughs> sweet. Super sweet. <laughs> like, Caramel. Yeah. I'm thinking of a particular Bonoffi pie, like Tesco or Sainsbury's. I don't know. When I was growing up, and we'd have a treat, I can even it had like white chocolate shavings on it, and like about that much caramel on top, and then bananary biscuit base underneath with hey, crap cream. I'm going to Sainsbury's over the road now. <laughs> You're going to find out some. which shop it is. What a match that would be! Just that insane. Would, just yeah. Maybe that would be my fast. last meal when I get put in jail for murder or something. Just get a uh, the weird banoffee pie thing from Tesco. Banoffee pie thing and one of these. Double banoffee. Well, unfortunately, most of these beers are one offs, so you'd have to get Angry Chair to brew a beer for you, and I'm not sure whether they do that for anyone, let alone criminals. A criminal, yeah. Yeah. No, maybe. Presumably, not. if you've done something pretty bad, like, I don't know, traded a canty on. Um, <laughs> so let's try, and, let's try and dig down into this more. We've, we've had the excitement of the first taste. 
there's a massive um it's almost acidity yeah like around that sweetness almost berry kind of acidity which yeah um, definitely a berry note yeah I, where's that could be from? i've tasted that before in i accidentally aged a there's a yellow belly i think i i accidentally aged it by finding it at the back of my cupboard right and it had gone really like the oxidation had turned it really acidic and it's like sour milk oh nobody likes sour yeah milk. or fizzy coleslaw you mean that milk, kind of vibe milk that's gone sour in the fridge you know? yeah Ooh, oh. yeah like you put it in your tea and like yeah yeah or yeah when your coleslaw goes fizzy it kind of had that flavor this it isn't that much, but it's just got that little hint of that, which might be because it took it took us a while to get around to drinking this crowler. Um, but it's not a bad thing. It actually helps the clean, cleanliness of yeah. the finish. Um, it's a surprisingly nuanced beer. I think that's what I'm getting at. It's got lots of different things going on. It's got acidity, banana, some peanut, but not a huge amount. Lots of roastiness on the finish. It's not too sweet. It's really syrupy, but then it's cut through by fine carbonation. I, I'd say the hype is kind of justified on this beer. I think it's a brilliant example of a well-made pastry stout and how it doesn't just have to be semi-fermented, super sugary, dark wood <laughs> with a bunch of ice cream flavouring. Yeah, man, I, I'd agree. Uh, I mean, the, 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 it's uh, still very adjuncty. Like, not a lot of this is going to be real stuff going in, right? No, I, I'd, I'd imagine the, pe the peanut would be either essence or butter mm. but i wonder whether butter that has some issues in brewing like fatty acids uh the banana i don't know i don't know how they've added that maybe dried banana maybe those little, weird little chalky sweets you remember those banana -y sweets? the foam ones yeah <laughs> that's uh that's a flavor profile for um isoamyl which one is it isoamyl acetate it's what you taste in vice beer. Yeah. Yeah. I love this. I'll flash that up on screen. They're great. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a bit of that, but it's more real banana yeah, than it is. foam banana. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Um, it's a big can for, for a big beer. Big, big can for two small men. Exactly. Yeah. Not that small, though. <laughs> Average height. Yeah, I love that. And I would share that with four friends very happily after dinner. <laughs> uh, I also thought that their beers, the Saison that you had, I had a... a uh, Ghoster, I think, yeah. uh, and another of their Imperial Stouts, which escapes my memory, but it's on our Untapped. If you want to go to Johnny CBC, that's my Untapped, uh, and that was banging as well. So really impressed with Angry Chair. We'll have to see how our cycle bottles go down in a couple of weeks. Ooh. Cheers, guys. Let us know if you've ever had any Angry Chair, or if there's any hype train breweries you might want us to check out. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>